Junction, it's part two of the mixed bag. Um, so let's get on with it. A few more things. I bought a, uh, a monument. Let's have a look at this. I bought the um, Dapol monument. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. This is my finger, so it's only a couple of inches, three inches high maybe. But I painted it in a, a mix of um, matte white and matte grey. Now I just want to add a bit of weather into it because it's just it's just far too white. So I'll come back to you. There we go. I've used Payne's Grey watercolour and two drips of you. PVA glue in water uh, to make this wash. Um, it will take a couple of hours to dry but I think it's brought out the detail and the good thing about it if you don't like it just chuck it back in some water and it will all dissolve. So I want to take this up to the loft and well I want to go to the loft because that's where it's all happening. I've had Ivan um, in contact with me. He's the um, Chairman of the Walmer Model Railway Group, Walmer Model Railway Group, and they left these by my front door. I've got six GPO let letter boxes and some electrical cabinets for the layout. So I paint them up, paint them up when I get five minutes. But uh, yeah, everybody's doing 3D printing, including. Somebody at the Warmer Model Railway Group on the East Kent Railway. Thank you, I Looks like an evening of painting. That six, um, well, fuse boxes, what do you ever want to call them? Relay boxes. Three with singles and three with double doors. And, um, yeah, six post office boxes, post boxes. So it's an evening's worth of painting coming up with a beer. I'm quite happy with the weathering on the um, on the memorial. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I've cut um, step it, the stones. I've cut I've cut with a, a scalpel just to make them look like they've got you know rock steps, stone steps. So there we go. I'm happy with that. A little bit gungy. Right up to the left. As you can see the monument has found its own little place. It's not stuck down. And that's the monument in place. Now let's get on with the back seat. Well, I've made a start on the high street. I've stuck the station hotel there with a couple of my poplar trees sticking out over the top. I think that's gonna work alright. So uh, onwards. There we go. Poplar trees behind the station hotel, a little strip of building. I think the chimney is invisible, uh, is visible through the alleyway. And the other couple of conifer trees are there. And uh, let me put them back together now. Well, we're getting there. You see how the trees work. I can pull, pull you into the distance. I've got a bit of the old background scenes mixed up there. There's the two poplar trees, or two of them. And another two there. I never put anything in the middle. So, uh, yeah, all I've got to do uh, is now is sort out this end. And these are the shops I've gotten rid of. One, two, and that big chew the building there. And I needed a few more bits in the hobby room. So we've got some steps for the bank. Uh, that have just gone missing over the years. I've got a piece of wall to... Uh, put behind the pub garden 
uh, to block off some of the back scene and I've got some more basic trees here to put behind the houses put behind the supermarket I think so let's go and do it I'm starting to think this video might even be in three parts. But let's have a look and see what we've got so far. Starting with the park and the clock tower. <clears throat> Probably quite a bit of detail here. A wall to hide some of the road back scene up. And a couple of park benches, some grass. <clears throat> traffic lights haven't arrived yet the second lot of traffic lights haven't arrived yet in the post but they're on the way um, so you can see <clears throat> between the buildings there's something to be seen some uh, background trees again put in there excuse me I'm um, struggling to uh, hold the camera still so I've added more detail down the alley there and some more trees I painted some more trees to go behind this house excuse me <coughs> and there's a bit more back scene so I need to move the bury up to cover you know making that a, a road disappearing so I've got to bring this um, Brewery, my brewery up, it's actually is held there by a magnet and a screw in the wall. So I just move the screw up and then I'm going to extend the um, the brewery at that end to um, you know hide up the uh, blank space before the scenery starts again. So uh, yeah, quite happy with what I've got. It looks so much better to what it was. I think I'm going to need another part to this video because I'm also taking this corner downstairs to be finished off. The walls are all not finished and the garden needs uh, sorting as it's just m dirt at the moment. So there we go. I hope you like that. It's made the town look so much deeper especially looking from the other side of the room. <coughs> there we go. Yes, this is the uh, end of part two. I'm going to take the brewery and this corner piece, which is just detachable, uh, down to the um, hobby room to finish up. And uh, the finished goods will be in part three. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying uh, what's happening. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. That's the one that works. If you could. So, that's Alan. Out. Oh.